Hey foodies, welcome to Cooking Shooking. Today we will be making aloo puri. It is a very easy recipe at first, very different from regular puri and the flavors of all the spices we add is really prominent. I hope all of you love it as much as I do. It is very crispy as well as you can see right now. For now, let's begin the recipe. All right guys, we will begin the recipe for aloo puri by taking a kneading plate or a parath and add about 2 cups of wheat flour or atta. Over the atta we will grate 2 potatoes, here I am using boiled and peeled potatoes which I am grating using a fine grater. Please ensure to grate it using a fine grater, if there are any lumps, your puris will not puff up. So here I have grated 2 boiled potatoes and it looks good. Now we are going to add in the remaining ingredients to it. About 1 teaspoon of salt, 1 teaspoon of red chilli powder, about 1 teaspoon of sesame seeds, about 1 fourth teaspoon of turmeric, about half a teaspoon of jeera, about half a teaspoon of ajwain or carom seeds. And now we are going to add in the chopped coriander, about 1 tablespoon of it and about 1 green chilli. To make our puris extra crispy, we will add about 2 tablespoons of suji or semolina. Now we will mix all the spices really well with the aloo and the atta. After it is really well combined, we will add little water at a time and make a dough out of this. Please don't add too much water to this as there is a lot of aloo in this atta. You might realize there is not enough water but keep kneading it, it will form together. So be careful with the quantity of water. You can see our dough is ready and it looks great. It is in a semi stiff consistency, not very soft, not very stiff. Now I will add 2 tablespoons of oil to this and give it a good mix. Just knead the oil for a minute and your dough is ready. Now we will cover the dough with a damp cloth and let it rest for about 15 minutes. After about 15 minutes our dough is ready and it looks slightly softer as well. The dough is ready now we will divide it into smaller portions. With this recipe you will be able to make 15 to 20 aloo puris. You can also make more it completely depends upon the size you prefer. So here I have made the small portions of the dough. I have made around 16 portions and now we are going to make the puri. To make the aloo puri first we will smoothen the dough portion for that Take a little bit of oil and apply it in the dough portion. After that, start rolling between your palms. Now I will press it down and you can see our loi is ready or basically our dough portion is ready. Similarly, I will prepare rest of the dough portions. Perfect. This looks great. Now we will start rolling it into a puri. So here I have a chakla. You can also use a chopping board if you want to. Using a balin, I will start rolling it. Once again guys don't mind the shape, I am again rolling it in an angle so it's slightly difficult to manage the shape but anyways taste is what matters more. Similarly I will roll more puris. The size as you can see is around 4 to 5 inches. Our aloo puris are ready to be fried, I have rolled 4 puris for now. To deep fry the aloo puri once again we need the oil to be really hot just like bhaturas. The science is the same guys the oil needs to be really hot so that the dough portion gets a shock and all the water evaporates quickly to ensure our aloo puris puff up evenly. So basically add in the puri to really hot oil and start deep frying them. Keep pressing them using a perforated spoon. Once they are golden from the bottom flip it around and cook it from the other side as well. Looks perfect, isn't it? I will take it out now. Similarly, I will make remaining aloo puris. If you want to make them extra crispy, you can lower the flame a little bit and cook it for slightly longer time. Here you can see I have made lots of aloo puris and they look great, isn't it? These are absolutely perfect in a lunchbox. These go really well with some aloo mutter or with some mixed veg pickle. You can see these are really soft if you cook them in high heat. If you cook them in slightly lower heat, these will be a little more crispy. Let me show you that as well. Here you can see I have cooked this one in slightly lower flame and it is very crispy. Don't the aloo puris look perfect? The masalas bring a very nice flavor to it. I absolutely love this with some pickle or some aloo mutter. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in my next one. 
do try it i'm sure you will love it until then make sure to click the subscribe button and ring the bell icon beside it so that you get notified as soon as i post new videos on the channel bye take care happy cooking